Objection! All right, guys, we're going back to the scene of the crime for more investigating. Oh, that's a classic. That's up there with pulling a coin out from behind your ear. Well, we're off to investigate our own little magic trick this time, because Max was seen fleeing the scene by flying away. Let's go swing by the detention centre and have a talk. Stop throwing cards at me! And please don't call me sweetie again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, anyone would be very happy about that. But, if you do the special before you're acquitted, you're out of prison. So, you know, win-win, right? Hmm, that's show business, apparently. Okay, well, we've got the chance to talk to him now, so I think we take that chance and try and figure out exactly what's happened. Let's talk once more about the night of the murder. Yeah, it's probably best to get that one out of the way, yeah. No, as you mentioned before, that devastated Maya, he needs wires to fly. Sometimes, yes. Okay. He's still adamant that he had nothing to do with it, so let's talk about today's trial. You know, after meeting them, I kind of agree. Hmm, okay. So what's all this about a Grand Prix, then?
No, no, if you don't want to, we insist that... No, here we go. He just so happens to have a photo of the event with him right now. Holy shit, I'm having a seizure just looking at that. I don't think that's how it works. Maybe you can steal one. Okay, so we have the photo. And I guess we could show it to a few people at the circus. And I suppose if there's nothing left to talk about, I might as well just pop over there right now. So let's move to the Big Berry Circus entrance. I'm pretty sure it's just the one person. There's nobody around. Ben doesn't know anyone's watching him, and yet he's still doing it. might just be me, but uh, I think that them trying to sing the song and failing and arguing about it is probably more entertaining for an audience. You even surprised me with your idea. Oh, uh, ben, seek help. Oh yeah, probably don't need that anymore, so why not? Right then, Ben, Trillo, Ben Trillo Quist, whatever the hell you want to be called, you weird man, let's have a chat. Well, maybe it was the ringmaster dressed up in Max's clothes, but he didn't want anyone to see him? I'm not sure we'll ever know just talking to them. Anyway, there are far more pressing matters at hand, let's face it. Puppet marriage!
Wait, your body aches? You're made of wood. Alright, well, that's that bit over and done with, apparently, so ventriloquism. And I thought Max just said that they lack ambition. Hmm. Ah, speak of the devil. Well, I don't think I'm going to need to show this photo to these guys. Or that guy. Fuck's sake. You're the man now, doll. Wow. That was a long time ago. Well, that's that, I suppose. We should probably move on to somewhere else, and someone else, but where? Where do we go? Lodging house? Yeah, why not? He always looks like that. Does he always look like he just got hit by a truck? Oh shit, man. Sit down. Have a cup of coffee or something. Oh, I know. We all know. Can I just mention, by the way, that I'm so glad that there's peace and quiet now. That music about a minute ago really starts to get on my nerves for some reason. I don't know why. Ah, yes, good point. But what if you had a whip? Does she know how to fly? Ah, uh, right, yeah, that's where uh, Money's pile of stuff is. Okay, so it looks like I'm going up to Acro's room, but not quite yet. So, uh, we've got to find somewhere else to go. Moe's room? I'd rather not. Let's go back to the entrance and then into the big top.
Allergic to wild tigers? 10 out of 10 excuse there, Phoenix. Well done. I was kind of expecting Regina to be here, to be honest. I think I'm going to bump into her at some point, but um, apparently not yet. So, let's see. Ringmaster's room or the cafeteria? Let's go with the cafeteria. Oh, god damn it. I was trying to avoid you. I don't know. Cafe Terry Ha <laughs> ha Are there any other bottles around here? I think it's inevitable that at some point we do have to talk to this man, so we might as well get it over and done with. Quite easily, I assure you. Now this is going to be important. He said that Max was flying. What the hell did you witness? That is a good point, there isn't a Cyclock, but that can't be right. That's it then? Just those two? That can't be right. Oh, I know, I know. What if I show him the photo that Max gave me? The Grand Prix photo? Die in a grease fire. Excuse me? No, no, of course not, of course not, Phoenix. But now, there should be a third option when I go to talk to Mo. I'll just go get one from the same place I'm going to get your trophy. Anyway, we now know that there's a missing bust.
bad joke. Definitely a bad joke. Damn right. Well, I wonder if we can talk about this tinsy tiny little thing. Looks like we can. So, tell us, Mo, what changed? To the murderer. Okay, you've got my attention. Tell me more. The morning before... what? This has got to be important. We really need to find out who wrote this. Gee willikers, I think you might be right. And that is all we're going to get out of Mo for the time being, so... I think what I'm going to do is I'm... I'm going to go back to the detention center because I want to speak to Max and I want to show him this note. If he knows anything about it, I want to know. There you go, good. He knows all about it. Wait, he didn't write it, did he? Oh no, no. The pocket of his tailcoat, really? No, oh, I'm sure we can find it somewhere, yes. Right, let's go back to the big top, and then back into the ringmaster's room, and then I think we're going to have a look around that tailcoat of his. Yeah, the tailcoat's still here, and there is something sticking out of that pocket. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I am sure that I'm going to check the pockets of this tailcoat. What is this sticking out here? <gasps> you don't say. Yeah, me too. Oh, the other half of the note. Right. Meet at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Right, this is definitely important. Yeah. 
So whoever wrote this note was the murderer, and they lured the ringmaster towards the plaza to kill him. So if we figure out who wrote this note, I think we figure out who murdered the ringmaster. Right, anyway, let's get out of here. I'll tell you what, let's go to that lodging house plaza. Let's see if uh, Francisca's finished her investigation. Or maybe I should be showing the note to people. Hmm. Oh well, let's just go to the plaza. That's a good sign. Uh, should we be worried about that? I think a hello would have sufficed. She didn't jump out and scare you, she gave you plenty of warning. That's what the beeps were about. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Okay, before we go up to uh, Acro's room, let's have a little chat. Maybe, maybe. Or it could be Regina, or money. Probably not. And we will, but let's just have a little talk about revenge. Well, yeah. Come on, Phoenix, we know who she means. Phoenix wasn't kidding. Ben really is contagious. Okay then, Miles Edgeworth, what's the deal here?
No, he didn't. Actually, what does she mean? Well, considering he got two spin-off games, nor do I. And so that's why she wants revenge? Really? Jeez, Phoenix, right, what's wrong with you, man? It's like a bad breakup. Kinda of sad. She was only curious. Anyway, Phoenix is right, we do need to see this acrobat. Not exactly what I was expecting. Right. Anyway, this is meant to be the decisive witness, so we need to find out exactly what he knows. Seriously? The Ringmaster sounds like he was God's gift to mankind. I'm sorry, does he bathe in birdseed? What's going on there? Thank you. 
I think that might be the case, yes. Alright, let's talk about the elephant in the room. You're an acrobat, and you're in a wheelchair. What's going on? Couldn't you have just, like, swapped rooms with Mo? I mean, that seems a bit harsh. Oh, hello. For some reason, he doesn't want to talk about this. But if they weren't acrobatic, I have absolutely no idea, so there's no point in tackling this cyclop quite yet. I don't know, but I think we're going to have to find out. Okay, so we're going to leave that cyclop alone. Now, we need to find out why Francisca thinks he's a decisive witness. What happened? No, that doesn't sound good at all. Okay, I kind of dread to ask, but what did you witness? Oh, shit. Okay, so, um, yeah, that just corroborates Ma uh, Mo's story about Max flying off after hearing a, a loud sound. Could it have been Max? I mean, everything's pointing to him. Maybe he's just a very, very good liar. Alright, to get through that cyclock, I'm going to have to find out about the accident, but um, I'm going to have to speak to somebody else about that. Maybe Mo. Okay, that's all we're going to get for the time being. No point in talking to him anymore. I say we go to a different location. Um, Mo's room? Well, no, no one would be in Mo's room, so let's go to the plaza. Let's go back to the big top. I'm wondering if Regina's back. Right on time. She was going to have the tiger kill money. Nice. Hi, Regina. You're looking disturbingly happy as always. Let's have a chat again.
But if everybody loved him, why would somebody want to kill him? No, you're right, she doesn't, does she? I'm very glad you picked up on that, Phoenix. Okay. Well, that's quite a wonderful thought, but I guess that explains why she's not taking this as seriously as she should be. Will you be famous? No, probably not. Will you be dead? Yeah. Do you mean mentally or emotionally? Because there's something just a little bit off. She was planning to make money tiger food, so let's find out why. She's at it again. Master manipulator at work. Oh, nice three completely varied choices there. But of course! Her requests are starting off innocent at first. I'm just helping her find her costume, helping her with this, helping her with that. But soon, she's going to be asking me to kill people. In all seriousness, I probably should go and try and find that costume. But before that... I wonder, does she know anything about this note? Okay, like a moment of clarity, something is starting to make sense here. <laughs> and I bet I know what she did with it. She just found it in her pocket though? It must have been slipped in there at some point. So does that mean that she's a murderer? Okay, we know a little bit more about this note now. We still don't know who, who wrote it unfortunately, but hopefully we will soon. Oh, thinking about it, I actually haven't shown her this yet.
Is there anything else that I have that I can show her now? Now I have her? Uh, what about the bottle? Yeah, the, the pepper bottle. I mean, what's the deal with this? But what was it doing in such a large box? That wasn't particularly helpful. Is there anything else? Uh, maybe? I can't really think of anything now. Um, I, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna see if I can find this costume now. Let's just do a complete sweep of the place. So, um, I, I suppose let's start off at the Ringmaster's room. Nope. Oh, no, oh, something's changed in here. Maybe Mo's gone. We should be so lucky. Well, I don't think we're going to find the costume in here, but perhaps there's something else to talk about? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Let's give it a go. I'm sorry, did I just read that correctly? Maybe he's not talking about the Ringmaster dying? No, I don't think so. Yes, yes, he knows something. Spill the beans, Mo. Six months ago. Right, okay. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can tackle these now. I kind of want to show him the Magatama and go through this in detail, but not right now. I'm actually on a little mission of my own to find a costume, which I still haven't found, so let's try somewhere else.
You know, now I think about it, I think the only place I haven't been yet in this investigation is Moe's room, so let's try that. Aha! But does he have the costume? I think it's safe to say, yes, he does! <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't remember this bit. Um, uh, give it back, monkey brain. How's that? Why is it every time I come to this circus I get attacked by animals? Yeah, you think you're victorious, but I bet he's got your badge. Oh well, never mind. We have the stage costume now though, so I think the next step is to go back to Regina and give it back. No, Phoenix, don't don't listen to her. Her words are meaningless. She's just trying to set you up. Oh, oh, that's the lion, isn't it? Now I wonder, can we talk about that? Yes, we can. Right, yeah, of course, because that's exactly what I would do as well. This girl is so disconnected. So, I wonder if this was six months ago, around the same sort of time that, um, 
a certain acrobat lost the ability to use his legs. I think, and I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth, but I think I want to go and see Mo. Hopefully he's still in the cafeteria. Mo, tell me everything. I do believe that a certain lion was to blame for this. Okay, that was easy. I'm on the right track. Okay, he obviously wasn't the person who got bit on the head, but he was involved. Okay, that's that done. And that was pretty easy, but I'm glad I did this after finding the costume, because otherwise I wouldn't have had the uh, the lion in the in the evidence. But hopefully, Mo's going to be quite enlightening here. Acro and Bat. Really? <laughs> Does everybody fall in love with that bitch?
You wouldn't have believed it, really, but where else but the circus are you going to find all this? Okay, that's all fine and dandy, I suppose, but how did you explain that to the guys at the hospital? Because surely they would see the bite marks. Oh, come on, can't you talk about something devastating again? At least he was tolerable then. For some reason, that seems important. Okay, okay. You know, I think we might now have enough information to tackle Acro's Cyclops. So, let's head over that way. I'm, I'm running through everything in my head, and I honestly don't think we've missed anything. So we should be ready for this. I have reason to believe that his accident was not acrobatic in nature. Magatama, do your thing. Three locks. Okay. No, no, we should be ready for this. This shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so just like I did with Mo, I've got to point out that the cause of all this was the lion, Leon. Yeah, with a sword and shield. And I think it's pretty obvious who that someone was. It's uh, his brother, Bat.
You know, if you hadn't already worked it out, hopefully this will help you along the way. This something that he doesn't seem to like much. I think it might be a person, and I think it might be Regina. No, he didn't overdo it, not this time. Regina found something in her pocket, something she didn't think was meant for her. But it was meant for her. Some of this case is finally starting to make some sense. So, go on then, Acro. Let's hear it. Why are you really in that wheelchair?
Pretty sad, really. Regina and Bat. Or Bat and Regina, whatever. And I'm guessing that's not tomato ketchup. I'm pretty sure by now some of you have worked out why that looked like a grin. And here she is once again to ruin the day. And so ends another investigation. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in court.